Hello, 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 Pisces. My name is Tiffany from Tiffany's Herology, and I am so happy that you're here with me today. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome to the family. And if you are returning, thank you so much for being here. You guys are the absolute best. I'm loving the, the community that we're growing. The comments are out of this world. You guys are so sweet. Pisces, how are we feeling today? Drop it in the comments. There has been so much solar activity, solar flares. People are feeling good. People are feeling amped up, super drained, super tired. Divine activations, heightened sense of psychic awareness, and also potentially feeling a little bit out of sorts if you haven't been eating as well. Uh, I myself have been feeling kind of all over the place. So we're going to tap in using the Kipper cards to see a very specific message. Whenever we use this, it seems to be like specific people, specific situations. So let's see what is here. I always like to tell you guys, if you do want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I do have that ability to do so. Go ahead and check out the links in my description box. I do have the ability to book one-on-one -on -one readings with me or you can go ahead and book a pre-recorded reading which will get back to you within 72 hours of when you book, not the day that you select, okay? All right, Pisces, let's dive in. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the highest white light, what is it that you would like for me to share with my dear Pisces today? The energy that we want to tap into. We have courtship. Okay, the lovers. So might be tapping into a love reading here, which we don't really do much on this channel. Message of concern, or this could be even about a job or a business agreement too. Keep that in mind if you are not dating, not looking for love. Distant horizons and one more to go. I did see the coffin card <laughs> flip over. Mature man. All right. We will see poverty at the bottom of the deck. Let's see here what we got going on, Pisces. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that there is likely a person that you are in cahoots with. This could be a business partner. This could actually be a lover. This could be a close family member. Somebody that you are very intertwined with. You love them. You have loved them. You are in a legal contract potentially or a binding agreement between the two of you. At this time though, there is a message that could be coming in. I want to see if this is coming in towards you. If you're the one Pisces who's sending this message to this mature man. We usually want to actually take these character cards uh, literally. So this would likely be to a physical man. If that doesn't sit your, uh, suit your situation and it ends up being that this is a feminine, obviously put your characters in your life where they may be. Um, but for the most part with the Kipper cards, you want to take things pretty, I would say pretty uh, spot on to what they look like. So there may be this message that you're sending to this person about wanting to go in a different direction. I think you are tired, Pisces, of dealing with this feeling of lack, poverty. You're tired of this like poverty consciousness. You're tired of living maybe a lackluster life. You're tired of dealings going on maybe in and around a home. The house card is there as well. And I see the energy here, Pisces, of you finally actually getting out of this situation, maybe moving physically, and it will affect the agreement. It will affect the commitment. It will affect the relationship, the job, the partnership in some way. So what I typically like to do is pull these cards um, and do them one by one. But because courtship and lovers are very similar cards. I'm going to go ahead and pull the tarot with these two cards together. Both of these cards 
um, add up to a four. So there may be some issues with the stability of this relationship. There may be some issues as far as where the foundation of this relationship was built. Because in the tarot, the fours can represent like firm foundations. It can also represent stability in your life. And so are we on shaky ground? I'm looking at these statues here and I'm also seeing a picture of, you know how sometimes you will go and you'll look at statues that are really ancient and you'll see like an arm whacked off or like a nose missing that's coming through so there could be this energy right now where you're feeling like yes you're trying to keep the situation together but it might be holding on literally with bare bones and there isn't a whole lot more that this relationship can offer you can give you oh pisces i just also saw this relationship may have actually turned to stone Medusa energy <laughs> is coming through. So there may have been a time when the two of you were really, you know, into each other. The two of you were able to co cooperate. If this is a business agreement, the two of you were on the same page. And over time, this love, this agreement has turned toxic, has turned to stone. There is still some hope there for some of you. I'm seeing these doves. Uh, I've never really paid attention to that. But also some of you are being freed or released. You know how they release doves uh, during funerals often to kind of release you into the ethers. So wow, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of things are coming through those cards. But spirit guides, tell me a little bit more about this courtship. We have the sun. So definitely at one point, this was a beautiful connection. This was a connection that was positive. Maybe we had similar goals. Some of you could have been thinking about children or had children. But there was a lack of equal give and take. This is the Six of Pentacles. When you look at the Six of Pentacles in the upright position, this is a card of equal give and take, of reciprocity. You can also see that scale on this person's hand. So there may have been an unfairness, an inequality in this relationship of a lack of proper give and take, a lack of proper reciprocity. One person may have been over giving and the other person could have been taking or not contributing. So if there was finances involved, you also could have been not paid what you were due or paid less than you were worth. Negotiations could have gone wrong. All right, Spirit, what else do we have to say about these lovers in courtship? Two of Pentacles. Some of you are still weighing out your options. You're feeling like, should I stay? Should I go? Would it be worth it to walk away after such an investment? There could be also this energy of... Is the grass really greener on the other side, even though this situation has turned to stone? So I feel like you may be juggling ideas at the time of your head. And also Queen of Cups, this is your energy, Pisces. You are really trying to make sure that whatever you do and however you approach the situation, that you are doing it from an energy where you are being upright, where you're also serving yourself. And I also see this energy of her kind of just relaxing, being by herself, taking some time away. The Queen of Cups is a card that always talks about you focusing on heart-centered energy. So if you're focused on yourself, what makes you happy, what you want out of life in this relationship, this contract, this agreement is not in alignment anymore. I think you sitting down as that Queen of Cups is you finally come to, coming to the understanding uh, with yourself, by yourself, that it's time to go in a different direction, that it's time to do things a new way, and that maybe being by yourself or loving yourself is the right way to go. Two more, please, Spirit. What else have we got for Pisces? Oh, the Empress. Yeah, you're all about your abundance, your fertility. You, you're you looking at yourself like, you know what? I'm worthy. I am divine. I'm worth so much. And the situation that you're in could be holding you back in relation to your abundance. That could be your finances, your health, your mental health, your happiness. And also, it could be keeping you back from things like, you know, let's be real here, we're adults. Um, sex, intimacy, feeling beautiful, feeling handsome, 
being able to express yourself from that sacral chakra part of our life. Your creativity could have been dimmed by this person. And so I see as you're walking away, this beautiful card here, the star card is here letting me know that you are ready to heal. You have hope. You're seeing your own light. Your vibration is, is really picking up because this love that has turned to stone, this situation that has ran its course, this agreement that no longer serves you, because you sat down in this Queen of Cups energy and you decided, okay, I'm going to actually do what's best for me, the Empress and the Star is able to come out. And what a beautiful trio of cards. Like, it can't really get much better than this. Like, the, the Queen of Cups, the Empress, the Star, such divine feminine energy. Whether you are a male or a female, we all contain those two energies. But this is you really sitting in your divine feminine, you deciding for yourself that you want to be able to enjoy love, agreements, contracts, the work that you do, and the way that you're doing it, the way that you're living, the way that you're working. Yes, at one point, this this situation brought you joy, or maybe you were happy to do it, but you're not receiving that fulfillment. Final message with these cards, Spirit. The Hermit. Ah, oh, yeah. So the journey to get here, to deciding that you wanted to make this move, has either taken you on a hermitage of self-introspection or you are in the process of that. Some of you are about to go into your hermitage. Others of you are already there. And some of you are coming out of the hermit because obviously every Pisces I'm talking to is going to be on different timelines. But the hermit card really signifies to me that you've gone deep within. You have looked at all the layers of this situation. You've tried to save it. You've tried to look at it from the outside in and be objective. But there is something about this situation that does not serve you anymore. It does not serve your soul. And most importantly, it does not l allow you <laughs> to be in your Empress energy, which is working less, getting paid more, which is I am relaxing, I am not chasing, I am attracting, you know, being very abundant, being fertile, being fruitful, having abundance in your life, health, wealth, prosperity, all of that. Okay, Pisces? You have to let this situation go. It has turned to stone. <laughs> that is very clear, evident, and wow. I thank Spirit for being so clear with these cards. Um, for those of you who might be wondering, this is the Pulp Fiction Tarot. I have not used it on this channel before, but I love these cards so much. They are truly one of my favorite. I, was, I don't know how they're going to show up on the screen, but I love it. All right. So now, Pisces, you approach the situation, you look at this, well, let's do it this way. You look at this lover, you look at this job, you look at this agreement, this contract that you're part of, and I see you, so I'm seeing it a bit clearer now, this is definitely you sending this message. I see you telling this person, this situation, we need to talk. I'm stepping away, I'm moving on. There's other things I need to do. There's a way in which we used to work that just isn't working for me. I don't see you guys leaving this person, this situation, this job like empty handed. So some of you might be in the position like let's say this is about work where you're saying, hey, I want to give you ample time to find somebody to replace me. I want to you know, let you know that I will be out of here in the next three months. Like, I don't see a lot of, like, two weeks notice energy. Some of you will, obviously, but I'm just feeling more of a, like, trying to approach this as tenderly as you can and trying to also not cause so much issues because this was a person or a situation that you did respect and you're a respectable person. So, Spirit Guides, tell us a little bit about this message that Pisces is sending to this lover, this job, this agreement. Woo, four of cups. <laughs> this is you being like, I can't do this anymore. I have tried. 
I have rearranged my life. I have given this the good old, you know, you know, I don't even know the word I want to say, but just like solid effort <laughs> on your part. But the Four of Cups is about being apathetic. There's literally cobwebs around her. This is not a self-serving position. And so you are going to, you know, whether you explicitly state all of that, you're going to basically say, I, I can't do this anymore. Ace of Swords, some truth, some clarity is about to come out, okay? Tell, tell me a little bit more, Spirit. What is this message? <laughs> you are choosing you. The Queen of Cups comes back out. This is your energy. You're saying, my heart and my soul is not in it. And when my heart and my soul is not in it, I cannot continue forward with something that doesn't serve me. A lot of Pisces are in that situation right now where if you don't feel that soul's calling, you're almost self-sabotaging self situations right now because they are not for you. They are not meant for you. They are not working out for you. And you staying honestly is doing more harm than good. So be real with yourself be real with this person this situation strengths at this oh sorry i'm thinking about i'm thinking about uh my celtic cross uh, additional messages for this message of concern i'm so sorry <laughs> oh six of cups yeah so this is a soulmate connection, a soulmate energy. So you could have been working with somebody who's a soulmate. You could be in the process of walking away from a soulmate. This could be a sibling, a family member, someone that you really love. You've been around for a long time. And again, at one point, this was good. So I see you saying something like, you know, as much as I don't want to do this and as much as I love, you know, who we were and how things used to be it's best that I go my own way, right? It's best that I get on this boat and go on the distant horizon. And just in Pisces fashion, this boat is like flying through the sky. Like it's not even going in the water. There is this energy here, Pisces, right now where you are saying, I'm, I'm done. I really don't have any more fulfillment. There's not much else I can gain from this situation. I'm choosing me right in the center. And even though I don't want to hurt you, I have to let you go. It was good while it lasted. Thank you for the lessons. You know, uh, I'll always remember the good times. Like something like that is coming through. Tell me a little bit more about this message, Spirit. Five of Pentacles. You may even state, I have felt left out in the cold. This isn't serving me financially anymore. I don't feel loved. I feel abandoned. I feel distant. There has become a rift in our relationship. I feel like all of my money is gone or this financial project because it came out with the Ten of Pentacles that we thought was going to be is not actually what it is. Like this, this agreement that we had, this thought of the Ten of Pentacles, the long term, the ride, the journey, the beautiful way that we thought things were going to go. They're really not turning out that way. And I must let you know that although we we wanted this relationship to work, we strived for things to come to a better ending, it's not working for me. So the, the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, two very opposite energies, one of a major abundance, one of lack. And so Pisces, you are like, I want my Ten of Pentacles. I don't think this is going to serve me. This isn't going to get me there, right? What else, spirit? Two more, please. The hermit. This is you saying, I got to go my own way. I'm taking a step away. I'm going on a leave of absence. I need some time apart. There's an energy between the two of us that I just can't bridge the gap. I've, I've done some healing by myself. I've looked at all the possible opportunities to make this work, but all the roads lead me to deserting this situation. Uh, you may even say, hey, I'm moving away. Hey, I'm actually going to be uh, partnering with somebody else. All of those energies are coming through. The sun card, <laughs> again, reminiscing on the good, still trying to be positive. I feel like however this message comes through, whether it's a text, in person, an email, you are still going to try to bring your light to the table. You're still going to try to be positive. You're not trying to end this situation with bad blood because why, Pisces? You're healing. You're a star. You are going through the process of like, 
I'm returning this, this like investment. I'm returning this love. I'm returning this situation that does not serve me anymore with love right on back to you. And then you have the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles. So some of you might literally be saying, I can't do this anymore. My stability is affected. I'm not getting paid enough. You aren't helping me. Where's the compromise? I feel like, like this person is literally in quicksand <laughs> and they're holding on to those last few dollars, right? And they're literally like, okay, I am literally up to my neck in issues and problems. So I have to walk away at this time. I've got to make a new way for myself and as much as I really want to try to stay here, these four of pentacles just aren't working. I really need somebody, six of pentacles in the upright, who is going to reciprocate my love, reciprocate my proper pay, who's going to be a equal give and take partner. Like there's so much of you again, walking away Pisces from this poverty mindset. You don't care anymore. The house is could also be a job. It could also be a business. And so you're like, I have done everything I can to save this, whatever it is for you, fill in the blank. But I just can't seem to make this work. I care about you. I love you. But I have to go my own way. Do it with love, Pisces. Do it with grace and understand that this is also a big win on your part because you're healing. You're going through the process of letting go of something really difficult in your life. Something that you really held on to for a long time. For some of you, it's been years, decades. For others of you, it may not be that long, but it could have felt like it or the the uh, investment in this person could have been like, we just got married. We just got engaged. We just had a child. The sun card did come out a couple of times. It also could be, we just bought a house and this house cost a lot of money. The economy is all over the place right now. So there's this energy of trust your spare guides, Pisces at this time. They're, they're telling you to let it go. They are telling you that this mature man the decisions that were made, the situations that happened, they pushed you to become a better person. They pushed you to learn who you are. And now you're going into your distant horizon. You're learning more about yourself. You are tackling what needs to be tackled in regard to your future. And you're ready to move on. So let's go ahead and tap into what is this distant horizon for Pisces? What is this distant horizon? Eight of Swords. You have felt trapped, stuck, unable to move. Ooh, my right ear is ringing so loud right now. You are no longer bound. Spirit says you are now in the sky, Pisces. The anchor that was holding you back. The people that were saying you can't go. This king of wands. Whoa. This possible fire sign or someone who was making you feel very burdened. <sighs> they had you in a chokehold. Very masculine energy coming through here. You are finally being let go. Your spirit guides are like, get in the boat and fly away, Pisces. You are not bound. The Eight of, the eight of uh, Swords is a card where if she were to just look around her, all these swords are around her. They're not in her. She's loosely tied up. There's a city in behind her. You could either be walking towards it or walking away. And this person that made you feel like you could not be who you wanted to be. That you could not stand in your own power. It's almost giving off devil card <laughs> energy in this deck. They're, they are making you assume your own power by taking the power that they hold over you away. Wow, 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 wow. You are no longer bound to this person, to the situation, Pisces. The tower is coming. There is nothing that anybody can do to stop what spirit is letting happen. The burdens that you've been carrying. Your spirit team sees how you've been suffering, what you've been going through. You have not been doing it in vain. Okay. Tell me more spirit about this distant horizon for Pisces. Trust the timing. 
with the Knight of Pentacles is going to take a while. You will be successful. You will be able to rebuild. You're actually being taken away <laughs> to a more productive and promising future where you can build up to that Ten of Pentacles, where you can have the home, the family, the life, the job, the resources that you deserve. You couldn't have it when you were in this situation. So trust that, yes, the journey might be long. It might take a while. It's not going to be all sorted out overnight, but you are moving in the direction of victory. Tell me more, Spirit, about this distant horizon. Wow. The Ace of Pentacles, a door to opportunity, to prosperity, to new love, to new beginnings, to more wealth, to more abundance, more happiness, more health, <laughs> a new house, letting go of that the, the property or letting go of the job or the business that you shared together opens up an opportunity for spirit to actually bless you. This is beautiful, Pisces, and it's all because you decided to send this message or to have this conversation and say, I'm done. I've given it all I can. You've realized, Five of Swords, this is a battle you can't win. There's no point in fighting. There's no point in trying to stick this out. If you do, then what? What do they gain? What do you gain? So you go your own way. Six of Wands in reverse. This has been a delay in you receiving the recognition and the reward that you deserved. By you letting this go and going into the distant horizon, that distant horizon is where you find your success. Where you find your Ace of Pentacles, right? Give me one second, Pisces. I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that, Pisces. That was my husband. He is on his way home. <laughs> So this Ace of Pentacles to the Six of Wands is Pisces by going on this distant horizon, by choosing to go in a new direction, choosing yourself, choosing your own happiness, your happy place, this distant place. Like maybe you've been thinking about a new job, a new relationship, a new place like that you want to live, a new state, a new city. Maybe you have been dreaming of making this a reality, but you haven't, but you haven't done it yet. This delay in your success is about to come to an end. You are about to receive that which is owed to you very soon. Oh, I love to hear this. Two more, please, Spirit. You have the lovers. New contracts, new success, new love, a new life that is more harmonious is waiting for you. As soon as you walk away from the old, the old courtships, the old lovers, the old business partners, you will start to find more aligned people enter your circle. That's beautiful, Pisces. One last card for this distant horizon. <laughs> beautiful. You have the Ace of Swords to the Three of Cups. You speak your truth. You celebrate. You walk into an abundant timeline. You literally walk into more happiness and prosperity in your life. You're around the right people and you're feeling damn good about this decision that you, you've made. The Three of Cups is about celebrating. I see some of you cheersing and saying, we did it. I finally broke up. We did it. I finally quit that job. We did it. I finally decided to accept the new offer. Whatever the case is, I finally sold my house. I finally moved away. <laughs> I finally moved out of my parents' house, like whatever the case is. And it's because there was a clarity of mind where you were able to act and able to move forward in a way that makes a lot more sense for you. You spoke your truth. You There was a great revelation in your life and the way forward was up. On the bottom of the deck, you have the strength card because this is going to be a process that does require you to be strong. The strength to move forward at this time, even though everything around you might be like, should I do this? Can I do this? Like, <laughs> literally look at this distant horizon. This ship is flying. 
it's like when pigs can fly energy, you know? So I see some of you being like, I just don't see how this can happen. But your spirit team, especially with this Leo energy, Leo season is about to ramp up so many manifestations. If you haven't heard a lot of people talking about the 888 Lions Gate, this is going to be life transforming for you and for so many other Pisces, so many other people. On the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Because you walked away, you decided you're going to choose yourself. You're going to choose to be different. You're going to be the person in the red coat. You celebrate. <laughs> Four of Wands and the Star card. You walked away. You healed. You celebrate. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see anything negative about this walking away other than that it might hurt to do it. But you know you need to do it. Now let's talk a little bit about this mature man and wrap up your reading, okay? So tell us anything we need to know, Spirit, about this mature man in Pisces' life. Whew, five of Swords in reverse. We're moving past the fighting. They might also be at a point where they're like, you know what? Go ahead and go. I really don't care. I'm hurt too. I wanted this to work, but we need to move on. And you have taught them or this, this company or this business vital lessons that they needed to learn too. Just as much as they were a lesson in your life, you were a lesson in theirs. Whew, they come up as the emperor, Pisces, and we know this keeps coming up in our readings. Fire signs or a very masculine figure, a boss figure, someone who has been really riding your coattails, a brash person, maybe someone who has made you feel belittled. And it was a karmic relationship with the Wheel of Fortune. This was a karmic partner. And they were supposed to teach you karmic lessons. You were supposed to move on after it was over. But the Wheel of Fortune is also here to say, by you taking the steps to really make this mature man understand who they are, where they're coming from, what life is going to look like for them in the long term without you, they're going to be feeling just as trapped <laughs> as you were in the past. But they're also going to be able to look back at this and say, you know what? Maybe I needed to work on my ego. Maybe I needed to work on how I manage people. Maybe there was something missing as far as how I take care of others. Bosses often don't see the person and people in relationship who are overbearing, don't see the kind of, they don't see what they have until it's gone. And this person is going to see that without you. You are a vital part to their story, though, and they are a vital part to yours. So we call it all joy. Knight of Cups. So <laughs> there could be for some of you an energy where they want to try to make things up. They're like, hey, I'm so sorry for how things have been going. Or maybe they've been the type that when things go wrong, they always make up for it. A lot of companies, what they'll do is they'll like throw you a pizza party. Uh, things that masculines may do for a female would be, hey, let's go on a date. Hey, I bought you some flowers. Um, they might wash your car. Like some kind of good deed or I'm sorry, apology let me make this up to you let's make love you know whatever the case is don't fall for it although I think there really is love here you came up as a courtship and the lovers this is not healthy <laughs> it didn't come up in reverse but I just feel like it's not healthy seven of wands in the bottom of the deck spirit says guard your heart because they might be very manipulative yeah you're you're up in your head about it with the two of pentacles Guard your heart and don't allow this person to make you second guess. Four of Cups in reverse. They really want you to reconsider walking away. Um, this is kind of funny what I'm seeing here. You see this chalice that this, this one has? They're trying to offer it to you. Pisces, don't do it. <laughs> don't fall for it. They may even offer you more money. They may offer you a raise. They may offer you a promotion. <laughs> they may say, we'll match whatever they're giving you. Like if this is for a, um, a job, don't fall for it. Because if they really had wanted you to begin with, you wouldn't be feeling like this. You wouldn't be covered in cobwebs. It's, it's not, you know what it's going to do? It's going to keep you on this karmic loop. You're going to go round and round in circles. And it's, it's not going to be okay. 
You have the page of wands in reverse. There is no real action behind their words. There is no real action even behind their actions because the wands are action cards. This is a person who's coming at you with this fiery energy, but they really are just a page. They want to come to you like they're an emperor, but they're a page of wands. They don't have what it takes. They don't appreciate you for who you are. You deserve better, but they're trying to keep you stuck in a karmic loop. And if you don't see past this situation, you are going to stay stuck. One last card and we will wrap things up. I'll probably pull an oracle for you. It's too many spirit. One last card about this mature man. Whoa, Pisces! Pisces, do you see this? You are literally like, no. Queen of Swords, Saturn in the first house, speaking up for yourself, telling them, I am a new person. You may have thought that I was so meek and mild. You may have thought that you had me. <laughs> you may have thought. But I've healed and I've healed with boundaries. You don't have to just heal Pisces and be a pushover. You heal and you set boundaries. You say enough is enough. I'm going in a new direction. I am not going to stay here just because you want me to be here. I have better things to do. <laughs> I have a life to live. I have pentacles to make. And I have people that I need to leave behind. You can stay right where you are <laughs> because the distant horizon for Pisces, the, the options are infinite. You are about to be given the opportunity to go on this distant horizon. Opportunity may come to you and keep it, keep it to yourself. But there's a healing that is taking place because you set those boundaries with this person. And now they're going to have to watch you rise. But again, remember, you taught them valuable lessons and they taught you valuable lessons. Now you take the lessons that you learned. You, you take this new queen of swords energy that you embody. You learn how to continue to heal yourself from the inside out and to become the star that you are to shine and no longer be looked at as less than you are. You are stronger than you think. And you are much stronger than they make you feel. Woo! I'm getting mad at this person <laughs> right now, Pisces. Because I love you so much. I just see somebody that has just been made to feel less than or obsolete or just not valued for who you are. And you're a really good person. Oh, wow. I haven't gotten emotional from a tarot reading before, so... But this hit home for me too, Pisces. I'm right here with you. And it's like, your spare guides are taking care of this. You don't have to worry about it. Let the cobwebs be there. Don't accept that cup. Walk away. Do it with love and dignity. We don't need bad karma to follow us. Don't just screw somebody over in the, in the way. The way that you actually win in situations like this is, is you don't approach them in a way that is malicious, in a way that is gonna try to one up the other person because spirit guides said justice is here that's what i feel let me grab a oracle for you guys really quick we're gonna pull from this deck called the soul odyssey's oracle it's a new deck that i actually got from a um a uh instagrammer that i actually follow called color me crazy and i always like to support artists so if you have books oracle cards if you have anything like that that you're promoting let me know i really try to support you guys but spirit guides as we are traversing this situation that pisces is going through oops <laughs> fulfillment fell out and blessings fell out right what is it that they need to remember along this journey what is to come why did their soul choose to go through this why did their soul choose to go through this all right the first card says doubt is but a stepping stone 
Card number 11. So if you've been seeing 1111 or 111 Pisces, this is definitely for you. It says, by embracing my doubts, I allow myself to seek and discover profound truth. So this person, this situation was supposed to make you doubt yourself so you could actually realize who you were. As crazy as that sounds, the person was making you doubt yourself so that you could actually realize who you really were. The opposite of doubt is being certain. And so through this doubt that you were going through of, am I strong enough? Am I powerful enough? Am I good enough? Am I beautiful enough? Am I handsome enough? Am I smart enough? You know, am I good enough at doing this particular thing? You found your light. Wow, Pisces. It says, be still. Card number five, 35, sorry, of stillness. It says, in stillness and solitude. I find my healing and strength. So this caused you to have to go into that hermit mode. It caused you to have to really look at yourself deeper, analyze who you were at a deeper level, reimagine who you could be, and then remember to be still, to learn, to understand, to integrate the energy in order to learn that the best thing you can do at this time, Pisces, is to forgive yourself. Forgiveness, card number 19, it says, through letting go, I create space for new beginnings. So forgive yourself for everything that has happened in this situation. No matter the years, the decades, if this has been months, weeks, whatever the case has been for you. For a lot of you, it's been a long time, at least like five, 10 years. Forgive yourself for not choosing yourself for in the darkness, Pisces, you found your light. And that was the purpose of this person, this situation, this love gone wrong, this business gone wrong, this investment gone wrong. And through it all, <laughs> on the bottom of the deck, my dear Pisces, is the Ascension card. It says, as I ascend, I shed the weights of doubt and fear. And the bottom, it says, both my shadows and my light converge, creating the perfect symphony of existence. You went through this process. You passed the test. That's the last video that I posted. I will link it above. You passed the test. You won. You chose yourself. Queen of Cups said no more to this Four of Cups energy where you're turning into cobwebs. I am ascending. I am moving on beyond this. I'm literally about to fly <laughs> in my ship in the air to somewhere new. I might be scared to send this message. I might be afraid of the outcome. I might not know where God is taking me next, but I am going because this is where I need to go. And I have to show you this, Pisces. I'm so sorry this reading might be a little long, but it says my inner compass. The compass got me because I said you're being guided somewhere new. And it says intuition. I trust the gentle whispers of my soul guiding me with unerring insight. Don't doubt yourself. Understand you're going through an ascension process. You, you, you heeded the judgment call. You found your voice. <laughs> and now you actually have this inner compass, this inner intuition, this light, this star, this energy that's guiding you to be a better person, to find better love, to be in better aligned relationships and to no longer let people who make you feel small have superiority over you. You are going to be amazing. And you're going to be amazed at the life that you continue to live. I'm proud of you, Pisces. I love you so, so much. We are all in this together. Please let me know in the comments, what are you going through? What is this drama <laughs> that is unfolding in your life? Are you willing to forgive yourself? Are you willing to understand that you also impacted this mature man or woman, whoever this is in your life? As much as they hurt you, you were there to be a light to them and their path as well. There were things that their soul wanted to learn from you, needed to learn from you even. <sighs> but I'm going to end it out with that, Pisces. I feel good about it. Take care of yourself and I'll see you guys. <laughs> And I'll see you guys again very soon with another video. Bye, Pisces.